happened this afternoon at Davis Wade Stadium. MSU was a 13-point underdog coming into Saturday's contest with fourth-ranked Texas A&M. But the last time A&M was a top-10 team coming to Starkville, well, you know what went down. Mississippi State started a tough November schedule today with number four Texas A&M. And the opening play for the Bulldogs on offense, this is not a bad way to get it started. Here's Super Fitz. It's Nick Fitzgerald, 74 yards. The kid has speed. And he's deceptively fast. 7 nothing lead for MSU right off the start here. The Bulldogs back on offense. And a third down. Fitz is going to keep it again. Going to break through a couple arm tackles. And he's running over defenders. Gets it down inside the five. That would lead to the A train. Choo-choo. Aris Williams, the former West Point Green Wave star. Two-yard touchdown. Boy, did he have himself a day. 14 nothing MSU. It's now 14-7 second quarter. Fitz going up top. How about this pitch and catch to Fred Ross? Really extending the defense these last couple weeks, and Fred is gone. Yeah, wipe off the jersey. 60-yard touchdowns. 21-7 MSU after a three and out by the Aggies. MSU's back on offense. Fitz to Ross one more time. It's 28-7 Bulldogs. They led 28-14 at the half. Fourth quarter, that same score line. Jake Humanick is in for Trevor Knight, who got injured. Here he throws a dime to Christian Kirk, 54-yard touchdown. It's a 28-21 game, but MSU would close it out on third and goal. Look at Fitzgerald. I will not be denied. This is a four-yard touchdown that would pretty much finish it. Now, Anum did add a touchdown to make it 35-28, and we get the ball back with 30 seconds to go, but Humanick's pass right here is tipped and picked off by the youngster, Mark McLaurin, who had a fabulous day. Yes, it happened. Mississippi State stuns Texas A&M, defeating the Aggies 35-28. After the win, MSU explained that they expected this thanks to a great week on the practice field. I'm so proud of our kids. Uh, faced a lot of adversity this year. Um, you got a young team. Uh, they didn't flinch. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought we had our best week of practice this week, uh, which, you know, you, you could look and say, how oh, the season's going. Uh, it wasn't going to go that way. It was a really fun game, and um, you know we had a really good week of practice. Um, we came out ready to play. We had a lot of fun, and and uh, I don't think it was that big of a surprise to us. We worked really hard this week. I'm just so excited. We went out there and fighting as a team, and I just thank my offensive line, Jeff, for blocking for me. It was a wild scene. It was crazy. Guys were dumping Gatorade everywhere. It was a wild scene. Music blasting, and um, we just we just tried to enjoy the win after the game. Uh, huge. Uh, I mean, with the, with the season we've had, with all the ups and downs, uh, to come in and, and beat such a, such a good team like this at, at home in front of our home crowd, uh, it's, it's phenomenal.